guys and welcome back to Roar's channel where today we are going to be checking out the base that helped secure my spot in Poland next month where it defended in all six wars. This base is completely overpowered. I still yet have seen it tripled up to this point. Now I want to do some testing. I want to make sure it's just as strong as I say it is. I mean Blaze JP, Vatang, some of the top clans couldn't take it down. Now let's see what these fellow YouTubers can do themselves. First we have Garrett coming in. He's going to roll through with a couple friendly challenges and then lastly we have a good old clash with Eric. He's going to try to come over here, take down Roar's War base and let's just see if he can do it man. Let's just see if he can do it. Now I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do like today's video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so we can be bigger and better than even clash with Eric himself. Now if you're watching this Eric, just pretend I didn't say that. Anyway guys, let's jump into the video. Right, so the first hit is going to be from my boy Garrett. He's bringing down these Electro Dragons. He's going to be dropping in a Baby Dragon, funneling the troops over down towards that northwest side. He's going to be using those Ice Golems in front of the heroes there, freezing things up, tanking for them so they can kind of work their way through. Dropping a Poison on the CC troops, um, pushing in a couple Wall Breakers. We're going to be opening up that compartment. Let's see if he grabs the value he absolutely needs there. All right. Rolling through. King's still up, but attached to by that single Infernal Tower, and boom, the King is down. We did grab both of the King and Queen, the heroes there, but will he grab enough value to make those Electro Dragons push right through the base? We dropped our Royal Champion in yet again. That single Infernal Tower is just taking all those troops down like a boss that they are, and there you go. Heroes are down. Loons are in. Electro Dragons are kind of being spammed right there in that compartment, um, ultimately just pushing through with that nice, Gorgeous chain ability and in theory will push straight to that um, that Giga Inferno. Let's see what value he grabs from there. They're on raging those Electro Dragons up. We do realize that we have a sweeper up against him. So he drops in a freeze, freezing the Eagle, freezing a Wizard Tower and grabbing that sweeper that does so much damage to these Electro Dragons. We did use our Grand Warden's ability, but sadly we did not grab all of the um, Electro Dragons in the process. Will we have enough push to take this base down? It looks like the Electro Dragons are kind of dying out here. Uh, we do still have a blimp in the comp to pick up that two star. I just don't think he has what it takes to grab that triple here, guys. Electro, uh, the blimp is in, going for that Giga Inferno. Bam, it goes down. The nice explosion takes some of that town hall down. We did pick up the two star, but this base is doing exactly what it did in the ESL qualifiers. It's holding up. Those two stars are okay. We do not want to see that triple, and we satisfy our curiosity with 57%, maybe a couple more percentage, but not enough for that triple. This base is O. P. And there you go, 59%. Grand Warden on the back end. It's always hard to take that Grand Warden down, um, but, but there it is, 59%. That is what we left off on first attack. Let's jump into the second one. All right, guys, second attack here from Garrett. He brings in a whole different composition. He's rolling in with the Yeti Smash. We're going to be using four P.E.K.K.A.s. Uh, we have six of those yetis and we're gonna see how this one plays out we're dropped in the grand warden grand warden is gonna be kind of clearing up a bit of that value on the northeast side there kind of funneling in the troops we're dropped in a pekka on the south east side and ultimately just cre creating that funnel right we're just creating that funnel his intent is i imagine to take this little corridor here and push in and hopefully grab in the process that giga inferno here goes the Pekkas, here goes the Yetis. They're all of a sudden deciding that they do not want to take that corridor, pushing through that wall. Not exactly what we had expected here. And yikes, man, very much so yikes. Drops the poison, grabs that witch, and ultimately good placement of the poison. But man, that single Inferno Tower just shredding everything, trying to come its direction. Grand Warden's ability, freezing, um, giving a little action to those Yetis. But here we go, man, here we go. Go, bats are in. Interesting composition here. Um, we have the okay, we have the wizard tower frozen up, giving those bats a bit of life as they push right through. Um, guys, I don't know about this attack though. I don't know. Is he gonna have enough 
to pull in a triple on this base. It's gonna look, it looks like it's gonna be another defend. We do have the blimp yet again, but again, not enough for that triple and ultimately not enough to take this base down, guys. Not enough to take this base down. We still have the healers. We do still have um, a few more yetis. And of course we have um, the Grand Warden who always seems to be the very last troop to fall. Sweeper's pushing those healers back though. And that year, my friends, is yet again another fail. He's not able to pull that triple and he realizes there and bounces out. All right, but the next one is the attack we've all been waiting on. What does Eric do to this base? Let's go in and let's check it out. All right, Eric, what do you think? Let's see. <laughs> Hit number one. You get three hits in total. Let's see if you can make this happen. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I don't know if I have the right army comp for this base. That's what we can do with it, though. We'll go with, um... So, you have to attack her from the eagle side. I gotta pull the CC first. So, pull the CC. Draw the CC over to a queen. We'll go forward with the queen. We'll go with the uh, baby dragon as soon as the CC is uh, cleared out of the way there. Go... Kind of annoying to pull the witch across the base there, so we'll add a wizard. <laughs> and we'll go the baby dragon. Here we go. Professional right. saying it himself, guys. Coming from Eric from One Hive. Wild. <laughs> Can he triple it in three hits? <laughs> this is the question. I'll get it. Easy day. Uh, yeah, the witch is being annoying. Sorry. Yeah, poisoning up that witch uh, like a boss. On the other side here, we'll uh, quick pick all this open. We'll add in Yetis and Bowlers. There he goes. King is down. Assisting in the funnel. You still have that nasty witch there. <laughs> Being annoying. Okay, he's down. Okay, get a single down before my uh, queen decides she wants to use her ability. Got it. All right. Nice, nice now save. Now he's freaking in. He's a jump. Probably there. He's another rage. And we'll hold on to the last rage for the queen. Or for the blimp, I mean. So we'll send in the Royal Champion over here because the uh, Yetis are going off in that direction and we got some tanking, so we'll take advantage of that. We'll path the blimp over the same path that the healers already pathed through, so that'll clear that whole direction there. We'll have uh, a... <laughs> so that takes the town hall. Eric, are you going to triple this the first freaking hit, bro? <laughs> okay. We're supposed to be showing how good this base is, not how good you are. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Whatever, bro. I'm pretty OP. <laughs> Clearly, dude, this is this is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, scratch this base. <laughs> I legit yeah. think you just tripled it. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. My yeah, gosh. A little bit of base left, so let's get a shot there. We still got a, a little bit. Those left. those those healers are up, man. I know they're over there hanging out with the warden, just chilling, you know, trying to get us through there. And uh, yeah, you mice can take out the scatter, hopefully, if or at least stay alive long enough. Oh, those bowlers are gonna roll the there, too. I think the queen can finish it off by herself for the in all reality. Definitely, I don't think a single troop died, dude. Uh, no, it's. <laughs> I don't know, man. That scat scatter shot's brutal. Yeah, I mean, boom. Typical how you beat a ring base, though. It's. Not too difficult. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. So do realize, man, we have literally ran this base up against six other clans winning our trip to Poland. Um, beating Vitang, obviously, Blaze JP. They did not even... Um, I'm going to have it up there on the screen, but I don't even think they pulled in a, um, a percentage above 84% two-star, which is just insane. And then there you go, Eric, clearing it the first try with a army you already had pre-cooked. <laughs> oh, that's... It's sad. I mean, the Yeti Blimp attack is pretty OP. I mean, I didn't really need the jump there. I pretty much swagged the jump. Uh, it's... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, anyways, on that note, guys, hey, Eric, I really do appreciate you coming over here and uh, FCing this base just to give it a go and see, you know, just how the pros fare. Yeah, I mean, uh, build better bases and I won't triple <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, you have anything for the, for the people watching? No, 
Uh, sub there Roar, he's a good guy. Now, because Eric himself did indeed triple my base, which I'm so mad about, I had to kick him out of the clan, guys. Like, I don't care. I says, that's how you treat Eric from one hive um, when you triple AE bases. You just kick him from the clan. You just kick him from the clan, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and ultimately go out in the world, love yourselves, love everyone around you, and as always, people, stay classy.